Hi, hi Aquarius. My name is Rena. I am your shaman. I'm a medicine woman and highly intuitive and I'm here to do your reading Aquarius for July. Make sure you take a look at your sun, moon, rising and Venus and your north node. Very important to take a look at your north node guys. Okay and if you want to work with me take a look down below. Oh, I've got one stuck from the last reading. I did shuffle, but that always happens to me. So let's see what is going on with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and North. No, please, Spirit. Can you please tell us what is going on with love for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We have two that really want to pop out here. So let's take a look. We have Ace of Cups and the two, Ace of Cups in reverse and the Two of Cups. This is my deck. Um, so. I didn't even get to do any housekeeping because the energy wants to come right in for you, Aquarius. So let's just say I am running a, a giveaway for hitting 4,000 subscribers. So that link is down below to watch the video that describes everything. If you want to be a part of that, come to my event. I am giving away free readings. I'm giving away, this is my tarot deck that I'm using, the Cosmic Tarot. And um, I'm going to be giving that away and a uh, live reading with me and a 30 minute read with me. So yeah, check, check it out. If you want to work with me, all the info is down below. Let's get to it. I, I hate the housekeeping. I just want to get into your reading. That's how I am. I'm even like that when you come to work with me. I'm like, I'm getting so much information. And I'm like, okay, back up. Let's do housekeeping. <laughs> so yeah, Spirit is really bringing through the overall energy. Wow, look at this. Aquarius, a resurrection, a, a reconciliation, or a um, out of regret. You're rising out of regret here, okay? There's something that may have what you thought was an injustice that you, uh, I feel like you thought was really over here things got really halted really fast and it really kind of threw everything for a spin with the strength in reverse, the justice in reverse and the chariot in reverse. And Spirit is just bringing it all out here that there is a two of cups energy that wants to come out here. So um, ending a lot of regrets here. So yeah, um, let's take a look. What is, what is going on with the cards? They're like flying out today. What is going on for Aquarius, please? Sun, moon, rising and Venus and Virgo. Virgo? Virgo? Okay, listen, guys, things are channeling through me right now, okay? So if you're dealing with a Virgo or someone with Virgo on their chart, there's definitely something that's going on with your Aquarian, okay? Or if you're Aquarius and there's Virgo in your chart, take it as it resonates, but that is some, for somebody out there. There is something that somebody is coming hot and heavy into you, something that was halted very quickly. That's what I'm seeing, something that was stopped so unexpectedly, and I think it really broke one of you. What is going on for Aquarius in the headspace? Yeah, pain. See, pushed away the divine feminine. We have the Empress in reverse with pain. So who, whatever, whatever, whatever is going on, this person that you're thinking of in the month of July is devastated. Like wants to die devastated. Like grieving devastated. Like writhing on the floor like, ah, like someone's died grieving. Well, seriously, like that kind of like, ah. You know, I got the high school drama award, so <laughs> you guys are going to have to deal with me and my creative outbursts. <laughs> I'm an artist in all ways. Let's see. Divine masculine. Look at this. Overly controlling and very upset. That's in the heart space. You're, this is a twin flame connection here for July coming through for Aquarius. And that's what I deal with. So I'm not surprised and wanting to rush in and communicate. Look at this with the Knight of Swords. So listen, y'all. <sighs> Your man is devastated, your woman, your man, whatever, your divine counterpart is devastated. They've had a massive inter massive math massive. I can't even talk. They can't even talk to you. They don't even know how to talk to you right now, Aquarius. Like I they're like uh, 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 you know like when a kid has like um you know what I'm getting? I used to cry like this because I'm so sensitive when I was a kid and you hyperventilate and you can't get your words out, you're like <laughs> That's your person. That's literally your person. They're having such a mass uh, internal breakdown that uh, they've betrayed themselves so badly in this connection that they are devastated and you're devastated. Let's see what's going on. They're in massive pain with this nine of swords towards the divine feminine. I mean, I can't lie with all the cards that have come out already. Like, look, can you even see that? Okay, never mind. There's like a lot of cards that have come out already. <laughs> Clarify the Divine Feminine in reverse with the Nine of Swords, please. Yeah, abandoning 
and pushing and not manifesting with that queen of pentacles going for women or going for a, a, a partner that was all about the money we can make the money we can do it if we just try if we build it we'll, we'll make it we'll do it that's no this masculine is devastated because he gave up something really prosperous really amazing really beautiful for a cash flow that's really what i'm seeing here um yeah for societal values yeah i feel like this masculine has a lot of people around is well known as community he has he's overly controlling too because of that because um people well know this masculine or this feminine okay well-known person um high up in a career okay uh people go to this person a lot could be you know a well-known surgeon or a well-known chiropractor or a well-known um business entrepreneur or a well-known um some of you could even be in the movie and film industry very well known and you didn't fit a viewer they pushed it away because you didn't fit their physical world with that queen of pentacles in reverse and they went after somebody with money yeah they got off the path with you high and dry and pretty quick and now they're really devastated because they didn't give you that that requited love that now it's unrequited love clarify that unrequited love with that two of cups that came flaming out at the beginning here look at this because they didn't take action with that king of wands they went after their their uh they, you know, they listened with the other head, the other mind down there, you know, that's what they listened with. Because they thought, like, if that's attraction, ew, bleh, make me want to purr, purr. So, like, yeah, no. This person has a big ego. I'm going to be honest. Your person is well known, you know, looked at how things fit, made a, they probably had a checklist. And I'm not saying a checklist is bad, but when you're at the lower end of manifesting, you make a checklist out of things and attachments of what you want in a person. But when you level up in your manifestation capabilities, it's all about flowing and knowing the vibration that you want and you're letting go of those physical attachments a lot. Because let's be honest, guys, when you're 90, like, does it matter if your person was a model or does it matter that your person was a certain race or does it matter that, like, does any of that matter? Does it matter? Does it matter if your person had money or not? No, but you have to go through those lessons to get to that point to manifest because I'm not saying that you're going to marry somebody who can't help you and build something, you know, who's going to mooch off you either. I'm not saying that because that can go the other way. But yeah, spirit is saying here that this person has learned that, that lesson, okay, that they are realizing, oh, damn, I totally put Aquarius in the box. Okay, so this is a... Uh, take it as it resonates because it can go both ways um sorry i'm like itching because like, there's mosquitoes and i don't freaking know why because this place is so screened in and i'm getting eaten alive um yeah i'm feeling like this person really put you in a box aquarius and take it vice versa okay for how you watch because it is general let's clarify that emperor energy spirit what is that emperor energy overly controlling by he felt trapped with that that eight of swords here completely trapped here <laughs> and the wheel kept turning the wheel uh, what I'm hearing um, the love boat song exciting and new come aboard we're expecting you the love boat Maybe na, na, na. I don't know look at the lyrics of that I don't know why that's <laughs> but it's like the ship came in and they did not board all right and the boat took off and went and they stood stranded on shore and nothing changed for them nothing changed for them now they got to break down this four of wands their world fell apart their material world has fallen apart here okay aquarius like this person's material world has completely fallen apart yeah <laughs> i'm sorry i shouldn't laugh i shouldn't laugh but I feel like this person's karma really got them. We have here the devil with the eight of wands and the three of pentacles. So they kept trying to build and move things forward in a very dark energy. They tried to build and collaborate for money, right? Um, in a very, uh, whew, yeah, because that's how they've always done it. And they're over, they were overly controlling and the wheel kept turning. So what happened when the wheel kept turning, Spirit? What happened to this person? Yeah. 
a new beginning started without them. A new vibration started. Your life is moving very, very quick, Aquarius. And your person's life is like they're seeing you leaving. I'm seeing like this two of wands, like when I created this card. Like one's on shore, one's like far away. And they're seeing you. Like, where are you going? And then the energy, you're like, bye. The love boat. Maybe we can give it another try. Isn't that the word? Maybe they want to give it another try, but you're already out to sea and you're like, I don't know, man. You got to get in that water and swim your ass out here. I ain't coming back. That turning that boat around is too hard, right? Too hard. Let's see what this Knight of Swords. Wow. This person is going to come at you, okay, Aquarius? And there may be, um, again, Virgo. I'm hearing Virgo in your chart. Seven of Cups with the King of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Wands. So look. They're trying to move through their illusions and their confusion very, uh, yeah, very quickly to come forward and to communicate with you. That's really what I'm seeing. They're trying, they're blocked still though. So be weary here. What I'm seeing is like your person is coming because this might be rebound energy is what I'm feeling. So if they're coming to you and it's a rebound and you know they just broke it off with somebody, you'd be like, yo. I ain't here for a re no rebound, you know. You got to set your boundaries, right? You got to know what's good for you. And you can't take back old energy. Because remember, you're in the love boat, baby. You're out to sea. You're on that nice cruise. I like cruises. <laughs> you're on that nice cruise. You're out to sea. You're enjoying your balcony. You're having a glass of wine. Like, why? You see this, like, poor person in the water swimming. Help me. Throw me a life preserver. Um, they're going to have to swim. They're going to have to swim. They're going to have to take responsibility. They're going to have to come up because I don't feel that this person is completely, um, I don't know, surrendered. Okay. Let's see. I don't think this person is completely surrendered. Yeah, they're just, they were exiled out of their current, out of their investments. Ooh, somebody took the money and ran. Matilda, Matilda. Matilda, she took my money and she ran Venezuela. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hearing. She took the money and she ran. That's what happened to your person. They took the money and they ran to Venezuela. <laughs> I don't know where these songs are coming from. But yeah, that's pretty much what's happened to your person, Aquarius. And so they've had a massive awakening. This person that they were with either stole a lot of money, got the house, whatever has happened, they were left it, left it. They were left lefted i don't know lefted i don't know what that means but they were left high and dry is what i'm hearing so we have the judgment here wanting a resurrection now having a massive internal change and we have here the ten of swords whoa we have a lot that came out okay so look y'all let's let's see let's do it this way we're gonna we're going to read it. So we have the world. So they're, they're ending cycles because they're having an internal change with the Knight of Pentacles. So things were really stuck here, okay, with this person, with their investments, whatever they were doing. They've lost a lot of money. This person has taken the money. They've run. This person was only into it for the money. They went after this person for money or they were in it for the money. They were in a, a, some type of partnership or an investment or it could be also some of you a partnership, an entrepreneur that was in business with somebody and they took the money, the partner slided them and took the money. So this person has lost a lot of investments. I'm also seeing some of them are gamblers. Somebody lost a lot of money at the horse races. All right. So whatever it is, there's been a loss, a big loss here. And now, and they're stuck. And they have to end this cycle here. They have to end it and start a brand new uh, beginning here with that Ace of Wands and plan for a new future with that Three of Wands. And they don't know. They're waiting now because they know they mess things up with you because you're this Two of Wands in your love boat going like the love boat. God, this is like a, you know, the karma drama, days of karma drama. <laughs> Just kidding. But it's like, no, the love boat. And yeah. So they want destiny. They want to heal. Look at this. They want this sun and this destiny now. They've had a massive. So your person has had a huge awakening. Now, if they're able to integrate it, I don't think so. I'm not feeling that they're able to integrate it. I think they're going to need baby steps. I don't think they're going to be coming to you and be like, baby, I want to marry you. And I'm sorry. And I'm ready for this kind of level of commitment. I don't think that's a thing. I think this is like, I've really fucked up. <laughs> I'm a loser. I'm an idiot. I'm drowning in the water. Can you please like throw me a life preserver? And I just want to cry because I treated you like shit. And can I just talk to you? That's the feeling that I'm getting. They've had a massive awakening, a massive awakening. And uh, yeah, they want to end their pain, but they got this person looming over them. I still see a karmic energy that is completely looming over them. I'm going to watch what you're doing. Look at that evil woman. 
I'm watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm going to get you and your little dog, too. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Remember the scene in, in, in The Wizard of Oz, and it's in the... To they're, they're riding the bicycles, and the, the woman, the neighbor, turns into the witch. Oh, my God. Like That's one of my favorite movies. And she's like, I'm going to get you in the little dog show. It's like a scary moment, because they want to come forward and apologize. Look at this. They want to apologize for walking away from the princess queen. They want to give you their love because they didn't before with the Six of Pentacles. They, it was non-reciprocal. They didn't work on it. They thought it was imbalanced. They thought it was a burden and a responsibility with the Ten of Wands. And they're wounded and they want to persevere and come towards you and pick up God's cup now because they want a reunion. They're completely imbalanced with the temperance. Look at this. Things have failed. I can't even make this up. Things have failed completely. They're sad. They gave up on their Ten of Cups. They, they're going to come through and they're going to say, I was manipulating it. I didn't know any man. I wasn't awakened. You still got to set boundaries, okay? They were resistant to change when they met you. They ran. They took the easy way out, right? This person doesn't like to do hard work. They may do hard work in their business, but they don't want to do hard work. They have a little bit of fragility going on. I'm being honest with you, okay? So, yeah. Take it as it resonates. Let's take a look at some cards here, some oracles. This is for... Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Remember, guys, if you like this so far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do, take a look down below at the link. I'm going to be posting my sweepstakes. You get to win some great stuff. So take a look, even including this deck that I created. So, um, yeah, and, and chance to get some free readings, too. So take a look at that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's all you have to do. Comment on the video that I linked down below and you're entered automatically so you don't even have to attend the live event i'm just doing the live event for those that want to actually get a chance to get a free reading with me live right so let's see i want to talk to you guys i miss you guys i love you guys let's see well yeah this is with this person aquarius transcendence this is your person right now they're going through a transcendence period they're uh Transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. This person's had a ma major, major, major awakening. That's what I was seeing with the sun and the star card. Like wishes galore and illumination and just knowing. But remember, can they ground it? Okay, that's what I'm really getting here. We also have another one fell out, did it not? Or am I like losing my mind here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guidance. Guidance. Huh? I lose my mind all the time. They're being guided here. You are not alone. You are guided by the masters and teachers of the highest realm. So, yeah, this connection is being guided. It is coming. This is a star seed type of connection, okay, is what I'm seeing here on the bottom. Sorry, the lighting is not the best. I'm doing this at night. We did have a death in our family recently. So my uncle passed away, my dad's cousin, and um, we've been doing the wake and the funeral. Assuming he's a very well-known man here. So um, that's why I'm doing this at night. And my parents are at the wake right now. Um, raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant loving light so yeah you really are sourcing so I'm sorry if the lighting is bad um, yeah so there's you're also a channel a clear channel here is saying you are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world okay sorry again yeah so let's see what's going on for love for Aquarius what is going on for Aquarius and love so yeah this is a high vibrational connection yeah, would love to hear what you guys think of this. This kid, this person came through fast, so they're gonna, they're like seeing the boat take off and they're jumping in the water. Now they're jumping in and they're coming after you and they're like, please, please, I'm trying to catch up. What is going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? What is going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? I don't want to take it. And thank you, Spirit. What's going on for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Didn't I say that they want to make the effort with you? They want to make this effort now, right? Great love is worth taking taking the steps you're guided to take. You're guided to take. I had that with the guidance card, right? So they want to come towards you. They're loving. They want to get to know you better, and they're loving themselves first. And they're also seeing that you loved yourself first, Aquarius, okay? And they want that. They want to give this a chance. They're like, hey, will you give me another chance? <laughs> Please, give me another chance. You guys have had past lives together, okay? So... It's a very strong connection, very high-level soulmate connection is what I'm feeling here, Aquarius, okay? Um, they're healing family issues. They know that you deserve love. 
okay? They're, they may be asking around people that you know, friendship for help. They're trying to come in playful. They've been calling you in and manifesting you as well. Like, they want you. They want you. Completely. I want to get some angel answers. I don't know if I did angel answers for the last group, but I'm just going by my intuition, guys. I can logically do reading, so... If you're watching Sun, Moon, Rising and you're noticing I'm picking different cards, like, I'm sorry, I can't. I think that's what kept me stuck in my channel before. It's like I'm trying to keep a routine. I can't. I'm so sensitive and intuitive. I have to go by whatever my spirit guides me to, and it's not the same for every sign. So I'm not structured like that at all. That's too many spirit. Give me something for Aquarius. Thank you. They want to compromise with you. Look at this. And they're not going to stop. Don't stop. They're not stopping here. They want, they're, they've been asking their angels. They really want to come forward here and romance you. They want to get on that love boat. <laughs> they, they want to get on your love boat. I like to see you try, right? Oh, yeah, when you know you're, you know, divine, you're like, oh, yeah, let's see. Can you? Can you? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, can you? I don't know, Aquarius. I don't know. Your person's energy is very interesting. I feel like I'm talking to them. Like, really? Really? Hmm? I don't know. What's going on with Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Aquarius, please? What messages from their person here? What is going on? Some messages for them, please. We got Yin in there. Look at this. Coming for the feminine energy. All right. They know that you're blessed. Divine feminine. They're going to do this right this time. They're going to do this by the book. They're going to come forward. They're going to approach you. They're not going to give up on you. They're like, fine, you want to be friends? Fine. Um, but they're going to keep pushing. They're going to keep, you know, they're going to try and push your boundaries a little bit. You got to be strong in your boundaries. You're going to be like, yeah, no, that doesn't, you better back. You, there has to be some balancing that's happening in this connection is what I'm getting. You're both very powerful energies, okay? This is between worlds. So this is like yin yang back and forth is what I was feeling here. So yeah, yeah. TikTok, it's going to take time to heal. It's going to be all in divine timing and, and time to heal. It's exactly what I'm feeling. So let's get some final messages here with divine counterparts and separation. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. I'd love to hear your comments about this. And um, I'm going to do the rest of the zodiacs this week as well. Okay, guys, for July. What is going on for my beautiful Aquarian Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, please? Pride. See, they let their pride and ego get in the way. But they know you're their life partner. Yeah, they did. They messed up. They're having hope here. Look at this. They're having hope that this can still this this flame can still be matched, can still be lit here. They're they were being an asshole, narcissist energy. They were being a complete dick. They want union. We're gonna leave it at that, Aquarius. Okay, they want union with you and they're coming for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, my loves, all right? Yeah, you may say no. You're like, I don't know, I want this. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget the sweepstakes that I'm doing. Um, and if you want to work with me, all that info is down below. Bye, guys. Love.